Friends, if you like the video, please like it. Toss the red subscriber button below. Once upon a time, in the sparkling depths of the deep blue sea, there lived a young mermaid named Marina. Marina was known far and wide for her remarkable kindness and her love for all creatures of the ocean. She had long, flowing hair the color of the coral reefs and a voice as melodious as the waves that caressed the shore. Marina's best friends were a playful dolphin named Danny and a wise old sea turtle named Tessa. They swam together through the crystal clear waters, exploring sunken ships, hidden caves, and vibrant coral gardens. Marina's heart was filled with joy whenever she helped a lost fish find its way home or nursed an injured sea creature back to health. One sunny morning, as Marina, Danny, and Tessa were playing near a coral reef, they spotted a shipwreck on the ocean floor. Marina's eyes widened with curiosity, and she decided to investigate. Swimming down to the wreck, she found a beautiful treasure chest filled with glittering pearls and shimmering gems. As she examined the treasure, Marina heard a soft, mournful voice coming from a nearby cave. She followed the sound and discovered a young merman named Max trapped in a tangle of seaweed. Max was frightened and exhausted, having been trapped for days. Without hesitation, Marina, Danny, and Tessa worked together to free Max from the seaweed's grip. Max was immensely grateful and explained that he had been exploring the shipwreck when he got tangled up and lost. Marina, being the kind-hearted mermaid that she was, invited Max to join their adventure. Max turned out to be a cheerful and adventurous companion. He and Marina explored the ocean's wonders together, and Marina's kindness grew even stronger. She taught Max about the importance of preserving the beauty of the ocean and taking care of its inhabitants. One day, as they swam near a bustling underwater city, Marina and Max saw a group of fishermen casting their nets into the sea. Marina's heart sank as she watched the fishermen capture countless fish in their nets. She knew they were taking more than they needed, and it saddened her deeply. Max, too, was troubled by what he saw. Together, they devised a plan to help the fish. Marina used her enchanting voice to create a beautiful, soothing melody that drew the fisherman's attention. Max, with his newfound courage, swam up to the surface and spoke to the fishermen. He explained to them how the ocean was a delicate ecosystem, and taking more fish than necessary would harm it. The fishermen, moved by Max's words and Marina's enchanting song, decided to release most of the fish they had caught. They promised to be more mindful of the ocean's balance in the future. Marina, Max, Danny, and Tessa continued their underwater adventures, spreading kindness and wisdom wherever they went. They helped lost sea creatures find their way home, cleaned up trash left by careless humans, and taught the importance of harmony between the ocean and its inhabitants. Word of Marina's kindness and Max's bravery spread throughout the ocean, and more and more sea creatures joined their cause. Together, they formed a tight-knit community dedicated to protecting the ocean and its wonders. As the years passed, Marina and Max's friendship blossomed into something more beautiful than any treasure. They realized that their love for each other and their love for the ocean were deeply intertwined. They became inseparable, working together to make the ocean a better place for all.